Hey guys, this video, I will show you how you can answer some of the business question with the help of Python pandas data analysis. So, so far we have seen a lot of, uh, you know, functions like uh, group by or some string operations and things like that. And uh, we will just combine all of those pieces here and uh, try to frame a business question and answer it. So to do that, first of all, import the pandas libraries spd and import the data set so here is our data set and uh, we are just reading the excel file that we have been using so far and let's simultaneously get some two rows maybe all right here we have the two rows and uh, let's say we want to identify the so we have a couple of other categories like customer segment and our business is interested in seeing that where the highest sales are happening so to do that to answer that question what we can do is we can write orders dot group by and group by customer segment and we say sales dot sum press control enter and we can easily answer that first of all it is a corporate segment then it is home office then consumer and then small business they may say okay this is fine but uh, where is the most profitable area or the customer segment well you can again copy this simply paste it and change from sales to profit as profit is one of the column we have in the data frame and again press enter and you can see that uh, corporate is the highest profitable one followed by home office then the small business and then the consumer which is little different when it comes to sales because in case of consumer uh, it is the third highest one uh, by sales but it is the last one when it comes to the profit all right so one other thing is instead of customer segment let's say you want to see the profit by some other category then let's change that category to maybe for example product category let's say your product team is interested in seeing which product category is really profitable one so technology followed by office supplies then furniture let's say you are interested in seeing that uh, when an order has been placed how many types of particular product has been appeared in the products and the orders so for that what you can do is you can say orders and there is a field name product name and to know how many times that name has been appeared in the orders so basically it gives you an idea whether the product is popular or not so you can use value underscore counts so value counts give you this information so for example global high risk has been appeared uh, maximum time 24 followed by fiscus box office master giant all of these three have been appeared at least 22 times so this way you can get this entire list about uh, how many times they have been appeared followed by those items which have been appeared very less and this is really helpful to understand for which uh, for which uh, product orders are coming more and for which products or orders are coming less similarly if you are interested in knowing how many unique products that you have then you can write product name dot n unique and it will show you that in your company you have total 12 63 unique products and uh, now I want to show you one of the common operation in every analysis you require identifying the top three top five or top ten product names by either sales or profit so how we can identify is, is by using the group by orders dot group by and by which we want to group by let's say product name and then by profit we want to see and then we want sum and then use the function n largest 
and largest and specify let's say we want top five products and press enter and here you have your top five products that you may want to include in your analysis similarly if you have a requirement that control c control c you have a requirement where you want the lowest one then instead of uh, n largest and smallest and press control enter so these are the ones so these are pretty interesting because these are in negative that means some orders have been uh, some orders have been come back for for these particular products and it will be pretty interesting to see why and go deep down into it so this is about how you can use the various functions which are present in pandas to reach to some sort of uh, a conclusion or a little deep down into your analysis and give an all round uh, you know report or presentation to your management so that's all i have for you in this video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic